What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're doing well today. Today we've got my uh, my second Czech Republic track in like the last week, which is uh, it's quite weird considering I've never done one before now. Uh, the track is called, I believe it's pronounced Kritza, however I could be completely wrong on that, you know obviously my um, my pronunciation of Czech words is not the best. However, um, this was a track that was recommended to me by both Jesse and Logan um, in just a, just a random Discord and I, I always love when people suggest tracks to me that I've never heard of before, it's nice, it makes my job easier, I haven't got to go and do, uh, do much digging. And essentially it is a local style track and if it is anything like the one I played the other day then I'm sure I'm gonna absolutely love it uh, I mean on first impressions oh god oh god 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 hang on let's let me get on the track first of all let's not go flying over berms uh, on first impressions having a look through the pictures on the MXB mods website uh, it looks good looks promising um, very tight and twisty and recommended for a small bike so I'm on the uh, YZ125 today no what YZ sorry I know a lot of you Americans always pull me up on that, but you know, different uh, different translations, different places, different um, different accents. Leave me be. I'm, just, I'm only human, um, but it's it looks good. Uh, it looks similar to what we played the other day, where in, in terms of it's quite hilly. Uh, having never been to the Czech Republic myself, I'm and just going off these two tracks I'm guessing it's got quite a lot of uh, elevation and the picture you know when you go into testing and you, click, you just click on a track and it's got like the preview picture there um, the preview picture of this track looked very hard pack and just just on first impressions from the, from the two tracks that I've seen so far on this game from Czech, uh, Czech Republic I, I wouldn't even mind going riding there myself I love a bit of hard pack myself um, if anybody watched my GoPro from yesterday you'll you'll know fully well that I am not a fan of anything anything low me or deep at all it did not go to plan whatsoever but you know you know what, regardless of how uh, how bad I think I rode, I'm still more than happy just to get out on my bike, you know, at the end of the day. I uh, don't get to do it as often as I'd like, however, hopefully come come summertime, you know, when the, uh, the weather's all a bit better, there's more tracks open, um, and Charlie will be going riding as well, we'll see if we can uh, throw a bike in the back of the van with him, and we'll go for a ride, and hopefully get some more GoPro footage for you, so, but hopefully uh, look forward to that in the coming months, but it's definitely not going to be a case of every single weekend now, you're going to get some GoPro footage, because... I just don't ride that often, as much as I would love to, it's just, uh, it's not a possibility for me right now. Alright, let's not go off the track at the bottom of this hill again this time. I really, really like the pre-built rough that uh, they've got on here, and, oh, I, I'm sorry, I completely forgot who, who the uh, the track authors were, so this was uploaded to the MX Bikes uh, mods website by Call Me Mateo, and it has got a note, however, saying the original author was Slufa. Now, I gonna take a wild guess and maybe say that Slufa made this track before MXB Mods was a thing and then it got re-uploaded by Call Me Mateo. I know that's the case for quite a few tracks on that site, early tracks that is as well. Uh, and this was released, well it, not released, sorry, it was put on the uh, MXB Mods website in January 2021. Uh, so like over a year now, which I suppose in MX Bikes terms is a little bit uh, older. I know a lot of the OGs are gonna slap me on the wrist for saying that, but um, it's old for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not one of the uh, really, really old MX bikes OGs. Well, I would have uh, would have liked to be. It would have been nice to see all the progression from uh, from like really old betas to now. And I, I remember back when I was like heavy into sim, and someone showed me a video of MX bikes in its super early days. And I was, and I think they actually showed me the OEMs. Not the OEMs. They showed me the MSMs, not the OEMs. And I think that was actually what turned me away from the game in the first place. I was like, oh, it just looks a bit like just doesn't look very realistic and so on and so forth and then you know I kind of had my years on sim kind of got burnt out on that moved over here and uh, it's one of them again where I just wish that I'd started playing it sooner and it's exactly the same case with sim as well to be honest I feel like uh, when I had started playing MX sim I, I joined just after like the the prime days you know the whole like Tyson Fresquez era and uh, I just wish that I could have been a part of that. It would have been really, really nice. But I was, uh, I was a console gamer up until, oh god, how old would I have been? I, I probably had Sim. Well, I probably bought Sim about, sort of maybe. No, I don't know actually. I'm trying to think how many years I've had Sim now. But I want to say it was maybe like back in 2015, so seven-ish years. So I was 19. So yeah, I was, I was a console gamer all the way up until around that age. Um, some of you, uh, some of you younger people here that have PCs, very, very lucky. I do envy you because I do now wholly believe that it is uh, is PC master race, and there's not really much of a discussion to be had there. Although, when I also do say that, a lot of games, when I have the abil the ability to, even on even on PC, I'll still play with a controller, just because you know it's what I've I've grew up playing. It's in my muscle memories there, and I just find it a hundred times easier. And I just I don't feel like I've got the dexterity in my fingers to to do really well on keyboard and mouse and i know it's just a time thing and if you put enough time into anything of course you'll you'll get good at it and uh, i'm just i'm at that age now where obviously i, I 
like like most adults you have a you have your nine to five job you've got your responsibilities outside of work as well and you only have like x amount of time that you can sit down and, and play video games so you don't want to spend all that time kind of learning something new you want to just be able to hop on and have a bit of fun whatever it is that you're doing and uh, right now i feel like i'm in an okay place you know um although I, recently and i i don't even know what's uh, what the cause of it is um i don't feel like I don't feel burnt out or anything like that. However, I just I just seem to be sleeping so much. Um, I'll, I'll finish work at like five, half five, and I'll get home and I'll I'll just sleep for like two hours after work every single day, and then I'll go to bed at about well depends on depends what happens that night. Depends how well the um, the YouTube and the editing goes that night, but it can be between like twelve and and two. Uh, so essentially, I'm having like two sleeps a day really. Um, but yeah, I just feel I just feel really really tired. And I was going to treat this weekend just gone as like a chance to really just like do absolutely nothing and just lay in bed the entire time. Um, but it didn't didn't really go to plan. Obviously, you went motocross, uh, motocross calls, motocross calls, and I know that you, you, one one saying that my dad always says, which I think is just really good stuff to go by, is uh, you're a long time dead. So whilst you're alive, make the most of it. You can sleep when you're dead, essentially. Uh, so just uh, yeah, do what you want to do and uh, try and enjoy yourself as much as possible. And I know that I'm kind of starting to come to the end of my uh, my prime years and chances are I'll be able to go riding and such. Um, and today, well, so today's Monday and I'm recording this. Um, if, if, if anybody knows what Strava is, it's just essentially just like a, an app where you can post slash track your, your workout stuff. So like running, cycling, etc. And uh, you follow people, they follow you. Uh, there's quite a few uh, pro motocross riders on there as well. I know that uh, Hart Ramp's on there. I know that the Martin brothers are on there. Um, so it's, it's, even if you want to check in on what your favourite um, your favourite pro riders are up to, it's a good place to to go and kind of track their workouts. It's really really interesting. Um, however, a couple of us at work, um, we've called ourselves the the finance fatties. Obviously, we're not we're not fat. We just <laughs> we just want to lose a bit of weight. We've uh, we've made a, a Strava group for ourselves, and every single week we're going to kind of track each other's workouts and just kind of see how everyone's doing. And I think it's good to have something like that. You know, it helps keep everyone a bit more accountable for their actions. And today was the first day. I've not done an exercise just yet. However, what I have done is uh, spent a good 20 30 minutes wrestling um, with all of the the trash and the junk in in the in the garage and trying to get my old uh, exercise bike out it's not like a not a you know, normal like gym stationary bike um it is actually it is a road bicycle however it's on uh, oh god what's i can't remember what the brand is now um let me have a look over at it what is it oh it's a it's a wah wahoo um how, how do you explain it it's essentially like a trainer you know you, you take your back wheel off your bike you uh, slap it on there and you it's just like a stationary bike on your actual actual road bike and i really really enjoy it because well i've got a program called zwift which is it's essentially just like a it's like it's just virtual cycling you know it's it, i treat it as like a video game you've got levels and you can unlock different like bikes and, and kit in the game um but essentially what you do is you get <clears throat> get plonked into this virtual world with a bunch of other people riding around you as well and you just ride you know you choose your different routes and you can see people from like everywhere around the world you could spend half hour on this trail riding side by side with someone that is the other side of the world and when you go and upload it to strava afterwards like just to keep track of your workout and um, it will show you who you've been riding with so if they've got strava as well you, you like this this person that you never knew uh, but you've been riding like <laughs> bearing in mind you're riding in your own bedroom or in your living room or kitchen or whatever it may be now uh, you've been riding with them virtually for like the last half hour or an hour you, you you find out what they look like and who they are and i just feel like that's pretty cool and one thing that I used to struggle with when I was uh, quite young, uh, when I'd be going to the gym and stuff, is trying to keep my, my brain entertained. Because I find that if you have a distraction, you don't think about what you're doing so much. So if you are going to be sat on the bike for, for an hour plus, a lot of time you just end up thinking about the pain that your legs are in or how out of breath you are and how much you've done and how much you have left to do whereas i find if i've got some kind of like visual stimulus on the screen like like swift and i can watch myself riding around in this this virtual world i feel like it takes my mind off it as much and it's nice to be able to visualize where you're going and visualizing the goal that you've got set for that day um but that that was kind of my plan for today so i've got my bike out i've got the the trainer out that the bike goes to uh, it's kind of it's sat in my room now i need to get my pump out um, because both of my tyres are completely flat, they're so flat, it's been sat in the shed for so long. Um, granted, I'm not riding anywhere, but I still don't want to be sat on the bike with flat tyres and just destroying the wheels. 
Um, so that is my other job for the rest of the day once I'm finished recording this video. And I'll try and get it set up and see if I can uh, get it working tonight. If so, I'll just hop on for like a cheeky half hour or something. It's getting a little bit late at this point, but uh, I'll see if I can do it. And now that it's kind of here and it's in my room ready to go, and I really haven't got to go anywhere, I've got no excuse not to do it. I feel like it would be nice to go and uh, just kind of get into a bit of a routine, you know, and just uh, work on that fitness. Um, one thing that I will struggle with always, I think, is my forearms and my wrists, just in regards to holding on to the, uh, the bike. However, I, I'm quite a big fan of rock climbing. Now, one issue that I have is I only ever go really climbing when I'm with my girlfriend. So if I go up there or she comes down here. So and normally it does tend to be once a month. And I'm never really a fan of going by myself because most of the times when you go, you, you're in groups. with like Everyone's in groups. They go with their friends and such. And it just feels a bit awkward going by yourself. But I might make a little bit of a push to try and go a couple times in between seeing her by myself. Because in regards to motocross, rock climbing is the only thing that I've ever done in my life. Um, that even comes close to replicating arm pump in that regard. Like the, the, the lactic acid that you can get built up in your forearms from a, from rock climbing is is unreal, um, especially if you like doing it for a prolonged event of time. And I feel like it's it's probably very very good. And I don't even know if anybody else utilises it. If it, I know it's not one of the most popular uh, hobbies about, although I think it is gaining popularity in the last few years. It seems to be people are realising that you actually end up doing a really good workout without even realizing because you're actually having fun. Um, but I'm going to try and do that to try and strengthen my forearms a bit. I'm going to start cardio on the bike and just hopefully get myself back to a good place, even if I'm not riding often, um, just for my day-to-day -day life, you know, so I'm not feeling quite so lethargic. And uh, I find I do this quite often. I do I do yo-yo. I've, I've always been like up and down in, in weight and stuff my whole life. And I've never been like, oh my god you need to lose some weight you are massive uh, but you know when you get that little like bit of fuzziness around the edges that you want to get rid of and i feel like that times that time's come again so yeah gonna start trying to to better myself a little bit in that regards um and just hopefully good things moving forwards and hopefully come summertime i'll be able to hold on for like a, a 15 minute session rather than just the the two free laps that you saw yesterday um i've not spoken about the track much whatsoever here uh, exactly like i always do i always go on like a, an off topic kind of rant i hope you hope you don't mind that at all um the track itself really really good fun i've ran what so i've ran seven yeah i'm on lap eight now without even realizing just turning lap after that really really good um it's nice that it's nice to have a slower pace track uh, i know it's not intentionally like made slow it's it's a replica by the sounds of, it, of, a, of a real track so um and you'll find a lot of times unless unless you are in in america where your tracks tend to be on quite a larger scale you know they just too, tend to be faster paced tracks um a lot of the eu tracks will be like this where they're a lot slower and, uh, and more technical but uh, i do enjoy it very very happy i chose to ride on the uh, the 125 anything up anything other than this would just be overkill i think you'd probably get away with riding an 85 round here as well uh, the track will be in the link in the description uh, well, the track link will be in the description, so I meant to say sorry, as always. Um, and just, yeah, just, just really good job. The, the scenery is quite nice. The environment is nice. It's not, um, there's not loads and loads of different sort of objects everywhere, but, you know, you've got the trees, you've got your tyres and your tape, and it just does make it feel like your, your local sort of track. And... Uh, yeah, I, I feel like if, well, I mean, it'll never happen. If ever one time I, I do go to the Czech Republic, I feel like I'd quite enjoy riding there. Um, and I, I think that'll do it for me. I, I hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, it's been a little bit of a, uh, just just like a, a, a chilled out ride and talking, really. It's been, it's been quite nice. Uh, I feel like I use these videos as a little bit of a, a way to kind of vent myself because I don't I don't talk too much throughout the day you know so I work at home from like three out of the five days of the week so just kind of me myself and I sitting here pressing numbers into a computer um, but yeah thank you uh, thank you everyone so much for watching uh, as I said do drop a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new and have a lovely rest of the day whatever it is that you're up to and until I catch you in the next video peace Came a long way from the bad days way back, had to burn down that landmark Seen some things I ain't really wanna see, it's all good, that's what made me me Now who would I be if I had it easy, used to break down, now I'm in a 350 Like whoa, I've been laying way too low, had to switch up and change my flow Cause I'm back from the block, had to bust some rocks and dust off the dust to get back in the box now. Wait.